In our factoring and algebraic fractions course, we have to learn how to add and subtract algebraic fractions. We will start with an example where we are adding these two algebraic fractions. The first step, like usual, is to make sure that all expressions are factored completely. In this case, both the numerator and the denominator in this first fraction are already as simplified as they can be. The numerator over here also cannot be factored. But this is a simple trinomial. Using the simple trinomial method, we ask ourselves what two numbers multiply to give 3 and add to give 4. They are 3 and 1, so this factors to x plus 3 times x plus 1. The next step is to figure out what will be the common denominator for these two fractions. Since x plus 1 is actually a factor of this other denominator, it turns out that x plus 3, x plus 1 will be our common denominator in this case. So in both fractions in the denominator, I write x plus 3, x plus 1. Now we have to expand our fractions over the new common denominator. The fraction on the right was already over that denominator, so it does not change. It will still have 3x plus 5 as its numerator. The fraction on the left, however, was multiplied, the bottom was multiplied by x plus 3. So the top has to also be multiplied by x plus 3. So it looks like this. The next step is to combine both numerators over the common denominator in a single fraction. It will look like this. The plus in the middle comes from here. This can be read as x times x plus 3 plus 3x plus 5 over the common denominator. Be careful when this is a minus sign because what comes after it will be affected by that minus sign. The denominator remains the common x plus 3, x plus 1. Now I'm going to simplify this expression in the numerator. x times the binomial x plus 3 gives x squared plus 3x. And then I also write in my plus 3x plus 5. Simplifying further, this combines to x squared plus 6x plus 5, still over the common denominator. In some questions, at this point, we will we be finished. But this time, we are not finished because our new expression in the numerator of our answer is factorable. It again is a simple trinomial, and I ask myself, what two numbers multiply to give 5 and add to give 6? They are 5 and 1, so this factors to x plus 5 times x plus 1, and it's still over the common denominator. And I look for a cancelling opportunity. This fraction can be simplified because x plus 1 appears in both the numerator and the denominator, so I cancel the x plus 1s. My final answer will be x plus 5 over x plus 3. This example shows how to add two algebraic fractions.